Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So this is a second video I'm shooting today. It's uh, April 11th, 2022. Beautiful day, 70 degrees, light winds. You couldn't ask for a better day to work in the bee yard. So uh, this video, I'm going to be getting into hive number five. Hive five is a hive that was a double screen combined on top of hive number one. So hive five and one spent the winter together with a double screen between them so each had their own queens and i pulled high five off once it started warming up and separated them off into their old location where they came from last year so uh that hive is really weak yeah it's it made it through winter but if i wouldn't have had them combined like that there's no doubt it would not have survived so it's a really weak hive and i took a hive from uh down here on the north end, I don't remember which number it was, but uh, I did find a queen in that hive. It was weak and it had one frame of some brood on it and it was all drone brood. So the drone brood was not down low where you expect to see drone brood in the spring all stacked on top of each other. It was just intermittent drone brood on the frame where you would want to see your nice brood pattern of all your worker brood that's nice and flat and flush. So that hive that queen has failed she ran out of fertilized eggs and she's shooting blanks basically unfertilized eggs and they turn into drones so that hive isn't going to make it at all so i took that hive that was reduced down to a single deep and i went and i put it on top of number five to boost them up with the worker bees that were left and i took that bad queen out and, and she's a swarm lure now so she did her job so uh what we're going to do now in high five is go through there and check it out and make sure it's strong and everything is working out right so i have to confess one thing i did uh in error when i did that combined uh it was about to rain and i was in a hurry and i didn't pay attention when i so i, I put the newspaper down i put the other box on and and i left what I did not do was slide that top cover back and cover that top little entrance, that little notch, so other bees could not get in there. So I noticed one of, one of those windy days I was down here looking at them, lots of bees around that. I was like, that's not normal, because they were all up around the top. So they were going in and out of that top, and they are going in there getting the honey out is what they were doing. So the nectar flow wasn't quite going like it is now, so they were robbing. And... Uh, so I went ahead and I, I scooted that lid back and blocked it off. And I don't know if I got it in time. Uh, when you get a hive that's being robbed out like that, uh, the bees that are in there, the home bees will abscond and leave. The robbers will just run them off. So I don't know if they got down through the newspaper into the bottom. I did notice some bees coming and going, so I think it's okay. But we want to see, assess it what the damage is. And if it's weak, we're going to boost it up. So let's get into high five and see what it looks like okay here's high five so you can see the newspaper here where we combined it with the hive around the corner where we had a drone laying queen and one thing i did when i combined this i didn't scoot this lid back and block off this little uh notch entrance up here in the top so i had some robber bees getting after this two three days afterwards so i smoked them away I moved the lid back to, to lock them out of there and I reduced this entrance down by putting these little blocks here on top of this here to narrow it way down. So I do see bees coming and going here a few. I was concerned these robbers got past the newspaper down into this part of the hive and was robbing it out as well and taking this hive out. So I, what I expect I'm going to see is not a lot up here and a few bees down here and it's still going to be weak based on that robbing situation so let's get in here and see what we find with it so yeah when you do a combine always be sure to lock down the top so those bees can't get out of there or other bees can't get in or if it's weak in this case other bees can't get in there and rob those resources out because there was some honey in there and that's what they were after yeah very few bees up here Empty a little bit of honey right there. Same. There's honey there. So it looks like I caught it fairly early on. 
So see how this honey, right in here, how it's kind of chewed up? That's from robbing. So it looks like I may have caught it fairly early on before they did a lot of damage. Now this hive wasn't near as strong as hive one that I combined over there. Yeah, so here's pollen honey. There's some honey that's been robbed. But there's no bees up here in the top. This has all been robbed right here. So they just hadn't made it out to that outside frame, I guess. But they didn't get all of it. There's quite a bit right here. So another odd thing is the newspaper is mostly intact. So the bees up top, I suspect, got all ran out by the robbers. And then when I locked it down, nothing could get in or out. So let's get this off of here and we'll look at the bottom. So I, I did a double newspaper to keep them separate for longer. But what's happened is they never broke through. There's not one space on there where they've come through. So this, this newspaper combined was a failure. The good news is those robber bees couldn't get into here. The bad news is we still got us a really weak hive right here. This hive is in need, desperate need of a boost. Got us a little bit of brood pattern right here. And there's our queen. So that's all she's got. Notice I put that back in there, the same orientation I took it out. This side was up against this side of this frame here. You don't want to split that apart, especially when they're this weak. Because that's your population of bees right there. That's it. These two frames. This whole hive is right there. That is it, folks. So... I'm going to bring down some of that honey resource in here. There's not, there's nothing for them to eat in here either. There's a little bit of pollen. Uh, here's honey way far away. So they weren't starving. <clears throat> Leave that there. That's pollen. So I'll put some of that honey right here. So here's a good chunk of pollen resource. I'm going to put it right next to, to them right there. Then I'll get another frame that had some honey on it, put them next to them right here. Okay, we're not going to put that other box on. That's just way too much empty space comb for these bees to to protect in fact a single box is too big right now that we're in the spring the flow is kicking in right now so what I'm going to do is find a frame of bees and maybe uh, another frame to shake in and give them a, a brood frame so we're going to go find that and come right back okay I found over here in hive eight Got us a nice brood frame. So we're gonna grab that and bring it over and drop it right in here. So I'm going to put it next to where the bees are. So the brood is right on these two frames. So I'm gonna put that brood frame right here. And I'll make myself a little bit of space because I might shake another frame of bees over in here as well. So here's our brood frame. Look at that sucker. 
that's what I call a brood bomb. It's just packed. Got a lot of little bit of drone comb there at the bottom. I'm gonna see if I can get some of that off of there. I don't know if that'll hit on the uh, bottom board down there or not. Let's see if it'll fit down in there okay. Or if that drone brood's gonna touch. Uh, it's gonna fit. I'm just gonna leave it. So the bees on that frame are mostly nurse bees. They won't leave that frame. They're gonna stick with it. So they won't fight this other, these other bees in this hive. Now I wanna see if I can grab a frame of bees and just shake them in here. So I made sure the queen from that other hive was not on that frame before I brought it over here. So when I do this shake thing, I'm gonna to have to do the same thing. Okay, here's another frame just like that one, except it doesn't have the, the drone cells on the bottom. And I've looked it over real good. I'm gonna look it over one more time, make sure I don't have my queen on here. I like to spot that queen before I do this, so I know certain I don't have her. Yeah, she's not on here. Normally you wouldn't find a queen uh, as often on a frame that's completely drawn out like this. She'll be on one where she's, it's got more eggs in it. If it's completely full of a brood like that, chances are you won't find her on there because she's done with this frame. So we're gonna gently shake these in there. Place these frames, get the lid on. And we're gonna put this one back in the parent hive. And I gotta put this one back to replace the one that we brought over. So this is the frame we shook. This is the, the location where we pulled the brood frame out of, and this is the frame we brought back that's fully drawn out and empty. So that queen can lay that right back up. And this was the one next to that. Clear them bees out of the way so we don't squish any. This is a nice strong hive. I'd pull honey super off of it. Get back over and finish that one up. Okay, so high five was not in good shape. We had to reduce it down, get that empty box off it. Those few bees could not defend all that. It would be ate up with wax moss and uh, small high beetle larva before long. This time of year, small high beetles would, would be the first thing. Wax moths are more towards later into the late spring, early summer, and through the fall. They're not as prolific in the spring like, like this time of year. So we gave them a boost of brood, a nice brood frame that was packed on both sides, and a brood frame worth of bees shook in there. So that's gonna give these bees a nice boost. The nurse bees will stay in here. Uh, if we got any field bee, from that other hot donor hive, it'll fly out and it'll go on back over to its original hive. And that's okay. We gave this hive a nice boost. Uh, it's not gonna do much this year. Uh, we don't have that strong of a, of a nectar flow in the fall to where I would have a fall harvest off of this. It's just not gonna happen. So we're just getting this hive built up to get it through winter for next year. So hopefully next year we can build this hive up bigger and get a honey harvest off of it. So that's the end of the video. Hope it was helpful and uh, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. We'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.